So, uh, hi, I'm Mariam, and today I'm trying something different and doing a voiceover. I'm also making art of a historical figure this time. This is actually part of a school project based around the book Stamped by Jason Reynolds and Ibram X. Kendi, which I highly recommend reading, especially for Black History Month, since it's a great summary of major Black events and just generally the history of racism without necessarily just being about history. In this video, I will actually be giving a brief summary of the life of Ida B. Wells Barnett, an anti-racist author and investigative journalist in the post-Civil War Reconstruction era, famous for her work speaking out against lynchings. Ida B. Wells was born a slave in 1862 Mississippi. Between her teenage years of looking after her siblings after her parents had passed, Wells was also balancing learning and teaching at a school. She had moved to Tennessee in the 1880s, where, after a civil rights infraction in 1887, Wells began to protest the Jim Crow laws in her editorials published in black newspapers. It wasn't until 1892, however, when three of her friends, black business owners Henry Stort, Calvin McDowell, and Thomas Moss, were lynched after white store owners grew spiteful from their success. This sparked Wells' arguably most famous work, the pamphlet Southern Horrors, Lynch Law in All Its Phases, Published in that same year, following thorough research on her part, she presented shocking data on the horrific lynchings taking place in the South. Only a few years later, a mob destroyed her workplace while she was away, and she received death threats telling her to not return. Shortly after, in 1895, she published another pamphlet, The Red Record, which was the first statistical documentation of lynchings throughout American history. Ida B. Wells' work shows us how, throughout history, the media and journalism possess some of the greatest potential in the fight against racism. Today, the internet is used to rapidly share news of acts of racial injustice captured on camera, not unlike how Ida's writings expose the horrors of racial injustice in her time. Ida teaches us that the power to inform and educate the public to raise awareness is just as validly contributing to the anti-racist fight as any other form of protest against injustice, and her dedication and contributions to her cause are admirable even by today's standards. Also, it turns out that I kind of like talking about impactful and admirable historical figures, and I figured, why do this just for a school project and during Black History Month? So if the people watching this would be interested in it, and if I can actually get my production schedule semi-organized, I think I might make this a regular, maybe monthly thing where I talk about civil rights icons from all groups in addition to my normal videos.